Hey guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out some TikTok mug cakes. I was kind of hungry and I wanted just something sweet. So I was like, maybe I should make some microwavable mug cakes and try them out. Um, I actually tried one before. It was a carrot cake. I kind of didn't like it. I don't know why I made it though. I don't even really like carrot cake. But I tried to find some recipes that I think I might like. All of these TikToks are from Jake Rotina. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I am. I'm pretty sure it's Rotina. So sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. I looked through the recipes and I think I have all the ingredients. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first mug cake. Well, it's not really a cake, but it's in a mug. I'm going to make a cinnamon cinnamon bun in a mug. This is his quarantine snacks 55. He has like a bunch of videos on quarantine snacks. Really appreciate it. I should do a thumbnail with this. Okay, I should probably get a mug. I watched the videos and he said almond milk works good, but we don't have almond milk. We only have oat milk, so hopefully oat milk works good too. Milk, maple syrup, cinnamon. So the first thing is one tablespoon of melted butter. I think I'm just going to put the butter in here and then microwave it in here. I'm just going to put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Hopefully there's no paper in here. <laughs> Now I'm going to add one fourth cup of flour. That's actually a lot. Okay, I have my one fourth cup here and my huge bag of flour. I saw this video where they measured to see if just taking a spoonful of flour is like actually the right amount and it's not. So that's why it's really important to level it up. One fourth teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna have a lot of dishes to wash after this. Okay. Two tablespoons of milk, oat milk. Okay, I'm just gonna pour. Why do I keep forgetting? Okay, two tablespoons. This is what happens when I don't go to um, actual school for like three months. So it does smell really good, and I think it's the syrup. Okay, it's really like stiff. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more milk in here just to make it a little more liquidy. Like so quirky. And then he says in another bowl, combine brown sugar and cinnamon. It says one tablespoon, one tablespoon of brown sugar and one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. I feel like I should use a fork instead. Okay, and then he says to pour it on top and swirl it with a knife. microwave it for one minute and 25 seconds. like I think I swirled it too much let's try it that's what his looks like mine looks super dry so kind of sad but it's okay I like like cinnamon flavor so it's actually really good it's good I would rate it an 8 out of 10 next mug cake We love eating. The next mug cake that I'm going to be making is a one minute molten chocolate peanut butter mug cake. The only thing is, I don't know if I have enough 
cocoa powder. Okay guys, so it is a few days after I have a stomach ache, but I'm still going to make the last two mug cakes. I'm sweating. I realized that I have no cocoa powder even though I thought I did. So I know that all I have is this sipping chocolate from Trader Joe's. It's used for like hot chocolate, but it's kind of like the only chocolate type of powder that I have. So I'm gonna try to use this and see if it works. First, of course, the mug. One fourth cup of flour and then two tablespoons of the cocoa powder, but of course I'm doing the two tablespoons of this hot chocolate powder and then two tablespoons of white sugar. I hope that the chocolate is just for like taste and not for like texture because It'll probably work if it's just for the taste. Okay, here's what it looks like. And then it says 1 4 teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder smells kind of bad. Okay, I have my milk again. 2 tablespoons of melted butter. I'm just going to grab a bowl and melt it in there. I accidentally didn't film the part where I poured in the vanilla and... The butter but I did that and now I'm mixing it and it smells really good like the previous one it says to add one tablespoon of peanut butter I'm so sorry you guys can't see my face I think he just covered the chocolate over that okay the sad thing is that we only have super chunky peanut butter this is always the most satisfying part Okay, this is a little more than a tablespoon, but I'll just go with it. I'm just gonna cover the peanut butter with the chocolate mixture. I have to microwave it for 60 seconds. 60 seconds on the clock. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's what mine looks like. That's so satisfying. It's really good. I think using the cocoa powder would have made it better in a way, but it's actually really good. It's moist. I feel like for a one minute like microwave cake, it's like actually pretty good. I would definitely give this like a 9.5 out of 10. If you guys like chocolate or peanut butter, you should definitely try this one out. Before I get full and finish that whole thing, let's do the third mug cake. The third one that I'm going to do is a donut mug cake. It seems pretty simple. Let me get a mug. Next mug is this amazing mug with my name on it. One half tablespoon of softened butter. I saw this thing where you soften your butter by putting it in a warm glass or something like that. I'm too lazy, so I'm just gonna stick it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. So it's one half tablespoon. I'm just gonna cut one tablespoon and then cut that in half oh wait this is kind of already softened already since i left it out i'm just gonna pour it in pour it in i'm just gonna put it in like this instead of putting it in the microwave one two three tablespoons of white sugar i'm just gonna use this one but but wipe it. Just me and Bay. There's that. And then it says a pinch of salt and then mix it up. Oh wait, I think I still need this. I'm just using kosher salt. I don't think it even matters. And then one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna pour it. Four tablespoons of milk. I'm not the only one who heard that right.
this is random but i really want to try and make my own oat milk i feel like that would be yummy let's just clean this up we're almost done i just need to mix this up while that's microwaving i'm going to put in another bowl melted butter and sugar and cinnamon so i'm using this butter but it's a vegan butter two teaspoons of that i feel like this vegan butter looks more yellow than like actual butter Okay, so then he just like pours it on. I poured a little, but I changed camera angles. Um, it kind of looks like chocolate, honestly. Okay. I'm not a big fan of donuts, so I don't know why I chose this one. But it's pretty normal. Kind of tastes like the first mug cake or... It wasn't even a mug cake, it was a cinnamon bun. Kind of tastes like that because of the cinnamon. I never know how to describe what I'm eating. I would definitely give this one maybe a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, so this one was good. All of them were a success. Okay, I'm sitting in a random spot. Background's kind of messy, but it's okay. I'm back to eating the chocolate one. It's really good. Anyways, I think this was such a success, especially for like, especially for one that took me a minute just like for the chocolate one it was like super quick super easy and like it tastes super good make sure to try these mug cakes out if you want to so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe follow my instagram and my tiktok i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys tiktok mug cakes were a success Angel boy. Don't say that. never gonna stand a chance heartbreak like a sad romance said that you